Alright, this is a review of Kick-Ass 2 Balls to the Walls, issue number 1. Um, the story basically takes place where it left off. Um, we have Mindy, who's training Kick-Ass to be a better hero, so to speak. Um, one thing I noticed about this is that they add a little bit more of the movie elements into this um, sequel. Um, the police officer who took in Mindy at the end of the movie is actually in the comic book now, so... Uh, Millar's kind of used some of the stuff they did in the movie and inc when incorporated into the comics. Um, it's a good start off. It's a good start to uh, the sequel to Kick Ass. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but basically, what happens is, um, like I said, Mindy is training Kick Ass to be a better superhero. Uh, Kick Ass is really. He seems. He seems more upbeat now. He's not really down and depressed like he was at the end of the uh, issue. That or the last issue of the first Kick Ass, um, the girl that he was trying to get in the uh, comics, she pretty much dumped him because you know he 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 pretty much admitted that he was pretending to be gay in order to get with her. But in the movies, he actually got the girl. So that's one thing he didn't add, and I and I thought he was gonna do that, but. Um, actually the girl who he was trying to get in the comics, they, he, he still sees her on a daily basis, but, um, she just rolls her eyes at him and, and he still has a thing for her. Um, but he, he seems, um, just from the first issue, Kick-Ass Dave seems a lot more, um, mature. Um, he's starting to, he's starting to grow up and I like that a lot. Um. Mindy is, you know, she's trying to cope with her life and, you know, trying to be a hit girl at the same time. But, you know, her her new family, they don't want her to be hit girl. Or at least the dad doesn't. He, want, he doesn't want her to be hit girl. He's like, you should really give up this life, this superhero stuff. It's kind of cool, but it's crazy. You know, you got weapons and you're a little girl and stuff like that. You should try living a normal life. And Mindy's just kind of like, okay, she's kind of going along with it, but at the same time, she's not. Um, you know, she still misses her dad, Big Daddy, and wants to follow in his footsteps. Um, Kick-Ass meets his new hero um, that he's been hanging around with. And we get to see some backstory on what happened with Red Mist. Apparently, he, him and Kick-Ass had, um, had a big fight. At a uh, mall area, I believe, and that's going to be interesting. They're basically going back in the backstory and telling what hap what's happening with him. Um, Red Mist, just from this issue, Red Mist pretty much just went nuts. He went, he you know he became a druggie and pretty much just became a super villain like character. But we don't know much about what he's done yet. They give you a brief little glimpse. Um, some interesting things though he like I said he meets a new hero who he's um, going around with and this guy his costume is actually kind of cool he's got like a purple white thing going on and he's got like this thing called the gravity pole and he explains to kick-ass that hey this thing can do all this and that and he's like and kick-ass is like whoa we can actually do that but he's like hell no how can a gravity how can a gravity pole actually exist I thought that was interesting. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and the f his dad, pretty much, uh, Kick-Ass's dad has been dumped by the woman he was dating before. And Dave is still kind of a loser. He's still kind of a loser, but like I said, he seems more mature in here. He's starting to, he's starting to accept that, um, and, or he's starting to get out of that teenage uh, era of his life. I don't know if he's a senior in high school or what. They don't explain that in here. But I have to say, this is definitely uh, really good. I'm looking forward to the the uh, the other issues that are going to be coming out. Uh, I give it a solid 4 out of 5. Just some little bit more things I want to um, explain and stuff like that. And um, 
Kickass has joined a group called the. I'm looking through here. What is it called? Justice Forever, and it's really cool. Like these heroes, or these um, the the, the new heroes that he's hanging out with. They have some really cool costumes. Like they, um, they, 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 they just look really awesome. And John Romita Jr.'s art is just fantastic in here. It's even better to me. And his work in here is actually better to me than what he's doing with Avengers or his uh, previous work on Kick Ass. It looks really something about the art just looks really, really fleshed out. So I'm looking forward to next issue. It's going to be very interesting. We got this new commando-like dude who looks like a badass. I can't wait to see what he's all about. Um, we, of course, we get more references in here to, you know, um, other superhero books and stuff like that. I think they mention um, Adam Hughes and stuff like that. You know, different artists we know. Um, so that's it. That is all I have to say about Kick-Ass issue. Kick-Ass two issue number one. Balls to the walls. I'm looking forward to issue two, um, which is going to be hopefully on time, because he's got Superior and he's got to finish up Nemesis, the first part of Nemesis, uh, and that's it.